This is poem number 12 of my weekly poems for the independent online newspaper. And the title is the 28th of October 2023, which is also the date it's published, because coincidentally, um, it was also my father, the 25th anniversary of my late father, Ted Hughes's death. Now, normally I wouldn't mark a death day and I don't, for me, I don't believe in marking death days. Birthdays, yes. Death days, no. Especially as we get older, there get to be too many of them. Um, however, also another friend died quite close, or you know, during that week. So, uh, and in in quite a, an unusual way. So I will try and explain that in the poem. And it also made me look at the passage of time and how we spend time, <clears throat> mostly about how there are elements in our lives that can waste our time. I mean, if we want to waste it ourselves, that's probably all right. But this is a bit about not wanting to waste our time on things that we have no control over. Uh, think about all those phone calls where you're on hold. <clears throat> 28th of October, 2023. Our hearts are ticking clocks. 25 years ago today, my father's stopped. I remember him younger than his death date at only 68, explaining the speed of light or naming the constellations. His voice remains as clear in my memory as when he walked the earth in search of poetry. And an old friend died on Westminster Bridge on his way to a boat party. His last act as cartoonist was to sketch himself standing alone in the dark, waving goodbye from the pier to a boat he would not catch as it left without him. So I thought of the value of time as I sat in a car queue at the flood's edge of a storm in mid Wales on Friday. Run off from the fields made rivers of the roads and for some reason, the cars that blocked exits as their engines failed were BMWs. I was conscious that the stoppages at hours I could not retrieve. How long is a life that can accommodate wastage? During delays, hold-ups, traffic jams, hours in A&E while not being seen, being put on hold indefinitely by any faceless company and HMRC without hope of an answer or being lined up for anything in which I am trapped and stationary. I hear the soft, persistent sigh of accumulating minutes, gathering speed and momentum, passing me by, becoming hours, days and more of empty life in which nothing is achieved, not even a sense of being. The theft of my time, your time, their time, should be a chargeable crime, stopped at source, and not only in the spotlight of our end. And I do feel very strongly about that. I mean, there are a number of phone calls I've been trying to make to various companies and so on recently as things go wrong and you need to get their, you know, some department to try and come and fix it or you need to get advice or talk, talk to a technician and being put on hold, you know, for half an hour, 50 minutes and you wait and you wait and you wait and nothing happens. And sometimes even when you do get somebody, then they can't help or they're working from home and they get cut off or put the phone down because they're working from home. They don't have an office full of people and support behind them. They've just got the kettle and a toaster and the oven and probably something in it. However, um, so the use of time, if, if I had a company, I would want to make sure that the people that I had working for me helped customers and not waste their time. Wouldn't you think that would be a really good idea? I mean, think of all those man hours, those millions, if not billions of man hours of all of our time that go into a telephone waiting for somebody who is not very helpful or who just doesn't care or just doesn't have the, doesn't have the staff. You know, if somebody has a lot of phone calls, HMRC particularly, very hard to get hold of. Haven't been able to get through to them for years, actually. 
I leave it, I try and leave it to um, an accountant. <laughs> he, he has a problem too. I thought he had a direct line, <laughs> but then apparently not. Anyway, <laughs> make the most of your time. I hope you enjoy this poem. There'll be another one along in a minute, if not a week. And take care. Thank you for listening. Bye.